What's up, guys? So if you've been following my social media, you've probably been seeing me or my one of my students do a lot of blanket lease deals, right? So if you don't know what a blanket lease deal is, that's when you, as a locator, represent a corporate client or a company that's looking to either like rehouse their employees and lease up a bunch of units so that way their employees can live there, or it's a company that uh, leases a lot of units just to release them and sublet them on like Airbnb or HomeAway or Expedia, right? There's a lot of reasons why you would pick up a company and help them lease a lot of units. So a a lot of you guys have been seeing uh, my successes and my students successes with blanket leasing like 10 or 20 or 30 units at once right and it's all really really great and you can make a lot of money uh, with this kind of client as an apartment locator but a lot of you guys have been asking like to see a real live recording uh, in this video I'm gonna just release an onboarding call I did recently uh, this client was a referral for my first corporate vacation rental client they referred me over this large company and they have like a couple hundred units on their portfolio they started in Pennsylvania Pennsylvania. They have units like in Florida and in Austin and they need help in Texas, specifically Houston to lease 100 units, right? So we're going to lease 100 units in Houston and then a bunch of other units in like Waco and different areas in Texas. So if you guys want to listen to how that call went, I'm just going to release it. So hopefully you guys uh, do appreciate that and it adds a lot of value because I don't know any other real estate mentors that actually show you like a live call with my cell phone, right? Recorded. So hopefully you guys appreciate me doing that for you. So that way you guys can better prepare on like what to say or at least listen to what a conversation of that caliber actually sounds like when you deal with a company that wants to lease a lot of units at once right so in the next few seconds i'm just going to release the raw live video recording of onboarding a referral that specializes in short-term rentals right so hopefully you guys appreciate this if you do please give this video a like i would really appreciate that and uh, i will see you guys on the next one hey what's going on so listen i have jason on the line he's uh uh, lifelong friend, my, you know, I call him my brother. Um, I got him into vacation rentals. Uh, I, I got by him sheer accident, by sheer accident. Yeah, yeah. really. Sheer, he was like, I don't want to work, <laughs> but I kind of have to work. And I was like, well, let's. Uh, I got this other place that'll hire you. I was doing something else on the technology side for them, and then and then got switched over actually while he was in training. Wow. But wow. Um, we go way back, way, way back, like 2003. Well, good. And uh, so we're actually, all... um, so listen, so I, I kind of caught him up on how I know you, Pierre, kind of what you're okay. doing and kind of how the opportunity or, or what the purpose of this call is to help Jason. Um, so Jason works for a, a national company. They have a really big presence, I think, in Austin. Okay. And, and Jason, I'll let you fill in from here, but um, mm -hmm. I was sure. talking like, hey, can you give me any units in Houston? And I was like, well, you know, before my business partner passed away, we were going to, you know, we took a serious look at Houston. Yeah. And, you know, that's how you came into the fold. And then uh -huh. I just thought that, um, you know, it's a perfect connection. I told him how you have students that yeah. um, do exactly what he needs in, in theory. And, uh you know, he's well versed on vacation rentals, uh, as versed, yeah. if not maybe more than me uh, at a corporate level. Yeah. And uh, uh, so he's in charge of pure acquisitions, like it was when I first met you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm hoping we can all do a deal like we did last time. And then, uh, you know, he'll go wild. He's got like a quarter million to spend, I think, okay. in um, first month's deposit. Right now. And right now. Yeah, right now. And he... He needs to spend it before they reallocate it. Wow. Well, that well, that's awesome, uh, Jason. Correct. That's me. Good. Good. It's so, yeah, it's such a pleasure to meet you here over the phone. I met Ross. Yeah, you're still up here. I think yeah, I, I think we met Ross back in 2017. Yeah. Yeah, we, me, you, and me. Yeah, I, I was working for U Rent and I was expanding to Austin, and Pierre helped me get into the first well four buildings there, <clears throat> all like from. From the downtown, like right by Whole Foods, yeah, Seventh Street, um, Red River, all that uh, stuff. UT West, campus, West Sixth Street, and uh, it was good. It was, it was really good. Me and Ross did. Uh, we helped Ross, and I remember we closed. Uh, this is when I figured this out for the first time. But we were in a meeting with the asset manager and the property manager of Roscoe. And at the core zone in Beverly, and they told me I was I was the first locator to help them and lease so many units at once. They were like, "We're not used to paying out apartment locators this much money 
but you you bring me you bring me Ross and you know and he's leasing up all of our vacancies in one sit down so that that was really cool right. and that's how Ross and I met. I was very impressed with how Ross uh, just answered all the questions they had. You know, they they went from uh, a little bit weary, like a, a bit uncomfortable with the opportunity, and and just every question they had, Ross did a really good job answering and and putting them at ease. Sure. It was a real learning uh, moment for me as well. I'm like, man, the way this guy talks is like just so professional and just closing everything out. So I was very impressed with that, Ross, and I think you did a great job. And it's probably because of what you said in that meeting that closed out the 25 units at Corazon. So that was so cool. Um, but I'm super excited. Thanks for the referral for, for Jason. However I can help, I will. Um, uh, as you probably know, you know, we don't charge anything. Uh, it's our service is always free. We just connect you to, to the, the property managers and kind of help them sell the idea. Um, because there's tons of value for you to come in as an operator, lease up all of their vacancies. And that's sort of the name of the game for each building, especially if it's a lease up, you know, the, the main thing they want to do is just lease up as quick as possible and and get the revenue up you know so they could flip the building later you guys know how the, the game works so um you know the, the, it, we have to sell it like that we have to sell it like hey this isn't just a mom and pop this is a company that's been established they have you know hundreds of units already on their portfolio in-house made companies ross you talked about the decibel readers remember she was like a decibel reader and Ross is like, yep, we'll, we'll monitor the noise. We've got decibel readers. She was so impressed. But, yeah, city management, all that stuff, uh, in house cleaning yeah. staff, like yeah. they need, you know. We just make it easy for everybody, right? And yeah. we also use it as a product for the actual building themselves to where if, like, uh, someone that's living in a building, uh, you know, they have their mom and dad come down, they can rent at a discounted rate with us mm -hmm. uh, and use that as, like, an amenity for their building as well, you know? I think it's great. So that's what we I try to do. You know, I've been in the in the industry for eight years, but two years ago I started uh, posting what what I've been doing in my small niche on YouTube, and I've basically, as a result, have gained a lot of subscribers. And I sell a coaching program on how to teach what I do to other licensed real estate agents. So I have like an army of like three thousand locators that yeah just all across the united states that maybe even could help us with this deal like i sent out one quick little post in our private group and i've already i already have a student that has several buildings just already prepped already sold and ready to go in houston and she's got some in a couple other states but just really i think i could really help if anyone can help it's me and, and my network for sure Excellent. Um, so well, that sounds fantastic, yeah. dear. Like uh, that's exactly what I need right now. That's um, perfect. You know, uh, the unfortunate life that I live right now is that I am the uh, real estate department here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so there's only one of me, right? Yeah. And and because of that, like I do need uh, like a certain level of help sometimes uh, because I can't be everywhere at once. Yeah. So yeah. Um, absolutely, that's exactly what I need. I you know I need referrals for buildings, uh, whatever the lead up is. Uh, it sounds like you understand the product you know very very well. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm looking for right now. And like I said, I have I. We are in expansion mode right now, currently, okay. um, and we need to get some units right away. Understood. And you're focusing on Houston market, yes? Currently, yeah. So I have units in Austin, Houston, uh, Dallas, uh, Fort Worth, uh, and then so we're based in mainly in Texas. We have a lot of units down there, and cool. we're also based in Pennsylvania. So those are our uh, Philadelphia. So those are our two core markets right there. Pretty much all of uh, Texas, and then Philadelphia as well. Got it. Well understood. Okay. Well, I'm I'm primarily in Texas and Colorado as well, and but I've got if. It, like if I'm not in the state, I've got a student that's in the state. So yeah, hopefully, like something you got your your hands in a little bit of everything right here. That's great. That's, that's exactly what we need. Yeah, hopefully that's good. Um, I, I did ha have a couple questions for you, just so I can, uh, you know, let let my team know how we can help in the in the best mm -hmm. way for you. As far as uh, sorry okay. if I missed anything, I had to answer a call, guys. No worries, no worries. We're j I'm just getting started you now, just, kind you of. You missed everything, Ross. I'm yeah. sorry. You, you're like substantial <laughs> at this point. <laughs> just, a, just a tidbit the only the only salesperson that's ever held a flame like 
in any metric, in any comparable arena, is, is the guy you're talking to right now. Wow. So that kind of, I appreciate the kind words about the meeting in, in Austin, but this guy, this guy's just as slick and uh, has right, probably good. been more, more client facing than me in the last three years. You know, I, I like to be in the background and uh, <laughs> the strings. I don't like to court. <laughs> But um, no, just uh, uh, in all seriousness, uh, he's just as good, if not better. Wow. But carry on, guys. I was just about to ask him some questions so we can get, I can, you know, get my team prepped on, on and spread the word on how we can help, you know, how we can add value. But I, when I leased up, you know, the first, uh, however many units Ross and I did the first round, I think we did, we did like close to a hundred or something like that. But I, I remember they were only interested in like urban core areas, class A building only. Which was a little frustrating because, Ross, if you remember, I had, like, all these other Class B buildings. I, I would show Ross a building, like, Class B a mile, mm -hmm. a mile away from his radius. And he's like, nope, it's got to be Class A. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, given the time at the, at the time in the market, that was <laughs> right. all that was feasible, you know, Jason? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, no, I, I completely remember it. And that's where I was to about, market, like, three like, years ago. <laughs> if you had a, to, to enter a market, you had to hit like the urban core first, right? Yeah. Because CBD you know, urban core. Yeah, and, and that's, yeah, that's, that's what it was. Kind of, I think, Jason. You know, you'll fill them in more, but I, I believe that's similar to their model. But they're I think a little more lenient given the the where the market is today. Yeah. With yeah. The adoption of short term rentals. There's just a, cool. more demand. Yeah, exactly. And I can let you know, you know, I, like I said, about three years ago, we were in the same boat, you know, same CBD, urban core, you're not going outside my circle, I can't get any of there, period. Yeah. Uh, now, right now, where we are in market, absolutely, we are a little bit more lenient on, you know, where we're looking. So I, I am very happy with Class B buildings. Uh, A and B are what I'm looking at. Um, of course, if we get central urban core, that's amazing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if that's available, but if it's not, and we're in a class B building that's like right outside of downtown, and yeah, that's no problem. We're we're 100% into that. Got uh, it. I can let you know that what my company is specifically looking for. Yeah. Um, like I said, class A and class B, and specifically, we are looking for studios and one bedrooms. Oh and wow. A lot of, uh, and three yeah, bedrooms. Also. There, where I was going to differ, I only wanted two to three. Right. Right, right, all of one. Exactly, and that's where I used to be as well. But where where my company is right now is we are really looking for studios, ones and threes. Wow, um, wow. Threes less so, but the studios are the ones we will gobble up like like crack. We are, we are all about that. Got it. Okay, so really, no, not really interested in twos. Not really, no. Yeah. Um, I'm interested in twos really at all. Uh, I mean, it, it, if it's a part of a larger deal, like we're taking on an entire building. And there are a couple two unit, you know, I see. two better units in that building. Sure, we understand that. Way. There's not much we can really do about it. But for where we are in the market right now, we are looking specifically mostly at the studios one and threes. Got it. Here, so you, so you understand where it's at. The dynamic changed with COVID in the multi family. Mm -hmm. the, the twos and threes were always the hardest to lease up prior to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's yeah. why they had so few of them in the buildings. But now people are wising up and getting roommates and living in the urban core much smarter. Mm -hmm. Or they hated the urban core, which has made it a challenge for the one bedrooms to sustain the rent prices that, you know, COVID brought in terms mm -hmm. of the twos and threes. So the twos and threes have actually, in most scenarios that I've seen as of recently, priced themselves out because there's 10 times the demand. Yeah. Oh like wow! Of the supply. Wow! And, and not wow. only that, like we're we're kind of our clientele as well. We're more of a tra uh, like we're, we're we're two different things. Uh, we're about fifty fifty, uh, like short term rental, uh, younger millennials coming stay in the city and have a good time, uh, versus uh, long term uh, stays. Uh, long term like corporate stays so we're about 50 50 on that and we just find that like the studios and ones are great for um those people that are coming in and just you know visiting and then the threes are great for you know either families coming for a long time or people just want like a larger space for a long term stay wow interesting so you you, you will do a long a long-term stay it's not it's not always just a night or two or three correct got yeah, it yeah we will go we will go 30 days plus 
Got and it. if that's an and issue with the actual building or the... There a lot more people are coming into the city for a month yeah. with flight prices rather than flying in three times, four times for their company. Yeah. They'll stay for a whole month and... Uh, and even to switch people out, you know, sometimes that's a thing. Like the companies will switch people out. So, um, yeah, it's it, it's a lot better price range. It's a lot better uh, availability. And, yeah, we, we can go shorter time or longer term. Yeah, it's fine with that. Got it. Well understood. Um, what else do I need to know? Let's see. Um, you've got, the, you were I saying, deposit. Have you guys talked cities? Where you want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can talk cities a little while ago. Right now, I specifically want Houston. Like, that okay. is where my main focus is. But like I said, we're all in Texas, you know, Austin. Uh, That's two. Where was it? Austin. Um, Dallas, uh, Houston, uh, and then we're also over in uh, Philadelphia. So those are really right now, though, I need to focus. Uh, our, well, my main focus is in Houston. Okay. I, I want to gobble up as many units there as possible right now. Then the reason I can give you a little bit uh, more feed in on the reason, too, is that Dallas, where we have a quite a few units, uh, they've actually are about to uh, pass a short term uh, rental ordinance that's not going to allow short term rentals in anything that is uh, classed as residential or has to be specifically commercial. And so, uh, what we want to do is take out a lot of our inventory from right there and actually move it over to the Houston area as well. Got so it. Before Got it. the bloodbath really happens. Yeah, I, I, you know. I see the, the motivation to do that and then just kind of swap that over to Houston, oh, hence, okay. hence why you need a lot of units. Okay. Exactly. Got it. Well understood. Um, New units and replacement units, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good to know. So I've got the class. i got the number of bedrooms. I, know, I understand the reason. I understand you need a lot of units. Um, what else can we do? What are Okay, two questions. When are anticipated move-in dates? And then are you looking to stagger lease terms? Or, you know what I mean? Like, if we, if, if yes. we lease 20, so, yeah. Like, do they stagger down by three? Or, you know, like... Couple. Yeah, so I'm, staggering lease terms is fine. That's, that's understandable. Um, I can let you know. Um, so I would want, if at all possible, uh, like I said, I have a I have a burning chunk of money in my pocket right now. I would love to drop on just like 30 plus units right now. If I can get that right now, like in the next 30 days, boom. Like I will, I will take that up. Okay. Uh, now that being said, like if we're looking at like 30, 60, 90 days out, that's understandable as well. And I'm happy to pick those up as well. Um, but as far as like demand right now would be pretty much ASAP for like a large chunk of units. Okay. Understood. And, uh, uh the deal terms are usually to let you know, um, my company is fine with leasing out as long as possible, you know, yeah. 12, 14, 18, 24 months. That's what we want. Yeah. Uh, one yeah. concession that we usually ask if there's any kind of like concessions running in the building right now, yep. like a better saying, you know, hey, you're going to get first one free. That Back. Got, we need to take those yep. concessions. Yep. That's, that's easy to negotiate. That's what we did for, yeah. with Ross every single time. So. Hey, and if you're talking yeah. to some units, you're like, yeah, I'll take 30 units. Yeah. They're usually like, okay, no problem. You get concessions, right? Right. So, right. <laughs> right. Structure it. So they prefer it up front, I think. So, but he can negotiate that with them. Mm -hmm. I can. I, I can. Just as long as you know. Yeah, then then they're gonna they'll they'll inevitably come to like where do you want to be yeah. rent yeah. here yeah so yeah go back and forth on contract negotiation that's not a problem at all so I just want to throw that out there yeah I remember the big the big thing for the buildings was. Um, uh, I mean, usually the here's the thing. Usually the ones that are thrilled are just thrilled to have you, and then the, and then there's like no in between. There's like either they're thrilled and they're like, oh, you just you just saved us, and all of these units released, or they they're not interested. And the reason is, I mean, I, I don't have to explain your own business to you. I know you understand, but it's it's that's part of our job is selling the benefits and not the fact that hey you know maybe tenants might be upset now so we try to really uh, uh, alleviate that with just describing how everything is actually in place there's a system and you guys are actual professionals so that's that's basically our job but the big thing that Ross and I found out was 
when we did this the first time is that a lot of these buildings, it's important to them to stagger the lease terms because they don't want to all of a sudden have all this vacancy pop back out. You know, it's like, does it make the owners or the investors happy? So if you are okay. okay. One way to do that too is you just stagger a certain number of them, 12 months, certain number of them, 13 months. Exactly. 12, 13, yeah, yeah, yeah. 14, 18 yeah. months, something like that. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So if you're okay with that, well, fantastic. That that'll be the the the, mm-hmm. the main thing that they always ask for when they're about to close the deal. So that's good. Oh yeah. And uh, uh, that's was that it? I think maybe that's all I need to know. Now I just need to find you buildings that are willing to um, work and say yes. <laughs> zip codes or anything you can give them to at least help guide uh, I don't have zip codes right now. No, this is on CBD core as well as it like expanded circles around that. I'm sure Pierre is very familiar with like the area down there. Yeah. Like, like where yeah, it makes so where it makes I'm, sense. Yeah. Anything that's urban, like that's what we're looking at. Like and if you, and like I said, if you can like it down to, it's like slightly outside of like the core, that's still fine too. Even outside the core it's fine. <laughs> And I'm fine with, like, looking at absolutely almost anything as long as numbers match. I'm good to go. Send that email to Pierre that has the buildings. I think oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I can send that over to Pierre and see uh, see if any of those any of those work. Um, let me give you my email, Pierre, if you don't mind. And, oh, no, no, no. Uh, business, Pierre. Not, uh, email, no problem. I didn't hear you, Ross. Those the buildings he's going to send you? We're originally going to do business with me. Last time I asked you about Houston. Got it. Got it. Okay. Hey, if you want to reach out to those guys and let me know if any of them work, that's fine. Great. You know, yeah. Oh, I see. I see. This, so. You're saying they're easy wins is what you're saying. And, yeah, they might be. Yeah, hey, cross my fingers. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, that was a long time ago. And right now. Yeah. Excellent. What are the max rents for studios or one bedrooms or three bedrooms to where it's not even worth looking mm-hmm. at? Like if you're running it through your pro forma analysis. So when we're actually looking at this right now, pretty much I've been looking at Houston right now and most buildings are sitting at market right now. Now if we're looking at a class A building that has slightly higher rents than like uh, like a, like a, another class A that's somewhere else, I'm still happy to look at that. I, I'm I'm almost happy to look at anything, um, uh, because you know we can all of course charge more for the for those higher cost things. So I don't have a max over or under uh, for you right now. Um, okay. I'm re- as okay. as long as we have a concession on first month, I can look at anything. Got it. Got it. Yep, that sounds it's good. Much easier to than me. Yep. Absolutely, I am. Ross is an asshole. So, um... <laughs> 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 Just joking. Oh. Ross is the best, man. <laughs> oh, I know. Ouch. Ouch. Can you do the chair? <laughs> oh, man. Well, hey, Ross, thanks thanks for the initial call back in 2017 and, you know, making us over 100 grand. That was cool, making me the first locator in the city to do it. That builds credibility with my YouTube, so I appreciate you, sir. That's excellent. That's excellent. Yeah. Uh, you got to check him out on Facebook and, and uh, everything, Jason, and YouTube. I will. <laughs> I will, and I, I'm going to shoot you over. So my, my boss is also my boss, my, the owner of my company. So, oh, uh, right. you would appreciate this, Peter. Yeah, I'll send them over to you as well. So Sean is a social media influencer as well that teaches uh, a large classes on how to uh, perform and maintain short-term rentals as well. Wow. So I think you'd probably get a kick out of this guy. He's, yeah. he's got a lot of great YouTube videos and shorts. Uh, wow. And like I said, he also teaches classes as well. So I'll, I'll, I'll shoot his information over to you, Pierre. You yeah. can probably get a kick out of him. Yeah, it seems like we're pretty similar. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, it's perfect. It's E-M-P-A-N-A-D-A. I don't know what you just spelled. Wait, what is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think Ralph is just trying to screw with us now. He's trolling. Which so, um, <laughs> is fine. So, well, hey, I really appreciate your, like, the two that email over to me. We'll start going back and forth on this. Uh, we can we can move as soon as we can move. And uh, just let me know, man. Let's make you some money. Let's make me some money. And let's, uh, let's cut Ross out of the equation. That sounds like a great idea. No, I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm, we'll, we'll all make. 
Yeah, no, we'll, we'll make this worth it for everyone and then, you know, add some value and fill vacancies to the buildings and hopefully build positive relationships across the board. That's what it's all about, you know, so. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. Sounds all right, good. sounds great. Thank all you. Right. Bye-bye. Well, and th that's how the conversation goes, you guys. Another short-term rental client that wants like 100 units in Houston and then other states. Alrighty, um, hopefully you guys can help me too with his leases and then we'll make it worth everyone's while. Thank you so much.